Today I want to share with you a Qigong routine that you can use to have a nice, deep, peaceful sleep. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Chand, acupuncturist, practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong instructor. Sleep difficulties is one of the most common reasons why people seek out Qigong and alternative medicine. There are many different types of sleep problems roughly called insomnia. You can have problems falling asleep, staying asleep, or you wake up too early. Now, according to traditional Chinese medicine, there are several different re root reasons why you could be having sleep issues. This particular routine will address probably the most common issue, which is related to the heart. Now, this is a heart system from a Chinese medicine point of view, not the heart organ from a Western medicine point of view. So we can have several different reasons, the heart being one of them, the liver, the kidneys, or an internal imbalance of several different systems and organs. So this particular routine will focus more on the heart yang and heart fire aspect. If you have another type of imbalance, perhaps related to the kidney or the liver, it'll still help, but just, just know that there are different ways to affect uh, insomnia and sleep difficulties. If you want to dive deeper into the root of your sleep issues, we have a complete program called the Definitive Guide to Sleep, which is available in the community our membership website where we have lots and lots of different types of uh, Qigong practices for the liver, for the kidney, for the lungs, for happiness, for sadness, for sleeping, for energy, all sorts of things. So I encourage you to check it out if you like the style of Qigong practice. So before we begin the routine, I want to introduce a couple different ideas so you can use this during your Qigong practice. One of the oldest forms of Qigong practice is called the Six Healing Sounds. This is where you make a sound while you're doing certain movements. So in this particular routine, we're focused on the heart, so you can make the heart sound while you're breathing out. So what is the heart sound? I'm gonna describe it to you, and I guarantee you'll probably never forget it. So imagine that you've just had a really long week and you've been working like crazy, you haven't been resting and sleeping enough, and it's Friday, the sun is beating down, it's nice and warm, you go to your, uh, your patio or you come home, you have a nice cool drink in your hand, you take a big breath, you put your feet up, and what's the sound you would make? <sighs> well, that's the sound of the heart. H A A A A A A A Ha. So when you're breathing in, breathe in, and when you breathe out, you can make the sound ha. Now, if you are in public, uh, like on the bus or in, a, in your cubicle, you might have troubles with that. But if you're at home and you feel comfortable, just make the sound as fully and completely as you can. You might feel like making it really loudly, and you may feel like just doing it very quietly. Just listen to your body, and you can just recite that ha, and all the way throughout the entire movement. Now, we're going to use several different acupuncture points during this Qigong practice. So we're not going to be doing acupuncture or acupressure, but we are stimulating the points through uh, mostly tapping. So the first point that I want to share with you is called Tai Yang. Tai means great, Yang means sun. So it's on the side of the head in the depression where the temple is. So we will be stimulating this point with our two fingers. Uh, at one point we're going to be going, uh, making circles forward and another point we'll be making circles backwards. The next two points are on the wrist. So the first one is pericardium number six called Ne Guan and it means inner gate or inner pass. So this is on the inside part of the wrist. You don't need to worry exactly where this point is. If you want, you can look it up. But it's in between those two tendons, just, a, uh, just up from the wrist crease. So you can, um, when you push on this one, you can feel a slight sensation going up the arm. This is a wonderful point to help open the chest, calm down any tens tension that's in the throat to the um, epigastric region, which is the upper stomach. So when we tap this point, we're, we, I actually prefer to use both points at the same time, tapping them together. So you have it on either side, and you can just generally tap in that area. This is why it's not so important to know exactly where it is, because as you hit your wrists together, then you'll stimulate the point. Now, the second point in, this, in that series is called Shen Men, or heart number seven. So that's in the little depression here at the edge of your wrist. So I find it usually by um, waving your hand as if you're saying hello, and you'll find a little depression here, and that's where Shen Men is. So this is a hard point to actually push on and stimulate through acupressure. But through what we'll do is we'll tap on the Neiguan point and then we'll move over to the Shen Men point. So during Qigong practice, 
it's the stimulation of the chi that we're that we're doing by tapping the points. So we don't have to push very forcefully on it. Just the tapping while we're doing the particular exercises will actually help to stimulate the points. Now the last set of points are on the neck. So we have Feng Chu, which is gallbladder number 20, and it means wind pool. So you know when you have a headache, there's a point that you want to massage on the back of your head. It's right at the base of the skull in the depression on the top of the neck. I'll put a little picture here so you can see exactly where it is. So with three fingers, we want to massage this point. Now this one, you can use a little bit more force. The reason why we move, use more force on that one is because we usually have a lot of tension and tightness around it. And by stimulating that point, it helps release that and it helps calm and cool down the head. And often it takes a little bit of pressure to get through the soft tissue and the fascia in order to stimulate the point. The next point is called An Mian. An Mian is an extra point. It's not located on any meridians. It's not associated with any internal organs. By the way, Taiyang is the same way. It's an extra point. So if you feel that Feng Chi gallbladder 20 point and you feel right beside it and you can feel a bone here underneath your ear, kind of behind your ear, An Mian is somewhere in between. And I'll put a chart up there so you can see exactly where it is. Now when we stimulate these two points, we're going to stimulate Feng Chi first, the uh, wind pool, and then we're going to move to An Mian, the uh, peaceful sleep point, and then we're going to slide over to underneath the chin, which is on the Ren Meridian. So you can use these points with the Qigong movements to help with your overall sleep. Now if you do this routine one time, you might, you'll, you'll probably have some effect. If you do it twice, you'll have more of an effect. If you do this regularly, you'll have, your body will become more accustomed to it. And as soon as you start stimulating these points and doing the exercises, it'll help put you into a peaceful, deep sleep. So if you're all ready to get, begin, put on your nice, comfortable pajamas, maybe your fluffy bunny shoes, and uh, let's begin the routine. Begin in the ready position and take a few deep natural breaths. Relax your body, relax your mind, and just be in the here and now. We'll now begin with the opening exercise. Take a big in-breath as the hands come up and around, and breathe out slowly as your hands come down the center. Breathing in as the hands come up and around, drawing the chi, drawing the energy into the body. Breathing out slowly as your hands come down the center, as you let go of any tension, any worries, and any excessive thoughts. This exercise is great for recentering and focusing the body in the here and now and increasing circulation throughout the entire body. When you have good chi circulation, you'll be able to sleep deeply and soundly. Last one, take a big in-breath as your hands come up and around, breathing out as your hands move slowly down, sinking the weight down into the ground. And come back to the ready position. And now with two fingers, we'll stimulate the Tai Yang point. Make two gentle circles going forwards and repeat this 10 times. Massaging the Tai Yang is very good for helping to relax excessive thoughts and calm a busy mind down. Back to the ready position. 
and go back to the opening exercise three times. Breathing in, drawing in peacefulness, relaxation, breathing out, letting go of any tensions, any worries. Breathing out, relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. Last one, big in breath. Breathing out, letting go of any tension in your upper body, your middle body, your lower body, and your feet. Back to the ready position and massage the Tai Yang going backwards this time, 10 times. Now use this massage to help relax your mind and let go of any repetitive or looping thoughts. You've had a busy day and now it's time to let go of all those excessive thoughts. Back to the opening exercise three times. Breathing in as the hands come up and around. Breathing out, imagining all your chi, all your energy sinking down through your upper body, through your waist, through your knees and your feet, deep down into the earth. Breathing in, drawing the chi up. Breathing out, sending it down the center of the body down to the center of the earth. Last one, big in breath. Breathe out, use as little force as necessary, feeling your body sinking deep down and grounded into the earth. And back to the ready position, hands at your side. Last time, massage in the Tai Yang point. You can massage slowly forward or backwards depending on what you feel drawn towards. Let go of any excessive thoughts, any worries, any tensions, any to-dos, and just relax. And come back to the ready position. The next series will begin with cloud hands. Raise one hand up to the level of the face and one hand down to the level of the waist. Slide across your body, switch your lower hand up to the side of the face and your upper hand down and slide across. This is called cloud hands. It's easier to practice than it is to describe. Your hands are making two large gentle circles as if you're creating clouds with the palms of your hands. Cloud hands helps to circulate the chi throughout the entire body, particularly the upper body, the chest, the shoulders, and the stomach. Try to feel a sense of connection throughout your entire body. As your hands move, your weight moves, but stay grounded and rooted into the earth. Good, and come back to the ready position. Now we will stimulate the Neguan point on the inside part of the wrist, the inner pass, and the Shenmen point, heart number seven, the spirit gate. So tap these two points together, Neguan, Shenmen, Neguan, and Shenmen. Good, switch to the other side. Just gently tapping as fast or slowly as you'd like. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. 
You're just trying to stimulate the chi, not the soft tissue. Wiggle the fingers and come back to the ready position and back to cloud hands. One hand up, one hand down, switch. One hand up, one hand down, and switch. The upper hand goes past your face. The lower hand goes past the Dan Tian or the lower heaven. Try to create a sense of fullness and strength in your upper body and relax. Last one. And come back to the ready position. Relax. And stimulate the Naguan point. This is very good for helping open up the Qi circulation through the chest, the throat, and the upper part of the stomach. And the Shen Men point is very good for stimulating the heart system and the heart meridian. When the heart is in balance, then we'll have the right amount of joy in our life, and we'll have a nice, cool, and calm and quiet mind. If you find your thoughts are excessive only at nighttime, it's usually because of the heart being out of balance. Wiggle the fingers and come back to the ready position. And cloud hands one more time creating nice, big, fluffy clouds with your hands. And try to feel a sense of connection between your upper body, the middle of your body, your feet, and the earth. Just try to imagine your mighty oak tree with your roots deep into the ground, drawing the nutrition and energy from the earth, and your leaves and branches extending up to the sky, drawing in the energy of the sun into your body. And last one. back to the center, back to the ready position. Take a few deep breaths and relax. Let go of any excessive chi. Now take a little bit of a wider stance. We'll do pressing the palms. Breathing in as the hands come up to the level of the shoulder. Turn the palms to face each other, push the palms together, and sink your weight down. Breathing in, pushing the palms together, and breathing out as your weight sinks down. Take a nice, deep, forceful breath. Breathe out and gently push the palms together. Breathing in, pressing the palms together, sinking the weight down, feel rooted, feel grounded, feel heavy in your body. And relax, come back to the ready position. Now we'll stimulate the feng shui point in the back of the neck with three fingers. And just make three gentle circles. Now move to the second point, An Mian, peaceful sleep, and stimulate that point. Now slide underneath your jawline to underneath your chin to the center of the body, and release the hands down. Three fingers up, massaging the Feng Shui point. An Mian. Slide.
slide under the jawline to the Ren Meridian and relax and let go. Last time, Feng Chou point, getting rid of any excessive chi from the liver and gallbladder. An Mian means peaceful sleep, helping to provide the conditions for nice deep sleep. And to the Ren Meridian, calming down the Ren Meridian. Pressing the palms, breathing in, pressing the palms together, letting the chi, letting the weight, letting your energy sink down into the earth. Breathing in, try to feel your fingers connecting one by one and the outside part of your hand and your palms pushing against each other. Relax. Feel a deep heaviness throughout your entire body. Breathing in. Slowly breathing out. And relax. Come back to the ready position. Three fingers to Feng Shui. Wind pool help calm down the liver, the gallbladder. An Mian. Prepare your mind and your body for peaceful sleep, sliding towards the Ren Meridian, down the center and release everything down to the earth. Massage the Feng Shui. An Mian. Ren Meridian. And release. Last time, Feng Shui. An Mian Ren Meridian Down the center of the body Down into the earth And now we'll combine those two exercises together Breathing in Hands come up to the Feng Shui Stimulate Go to the An Mian Down to the Ren Meridian Pressing the palms together sinking the weight down and release breathing in touching the Feng Shui An Mian Ren pressing the palms sink the weight down and release Feng Shui An Mian Ren Pressing the palms Sink the weight down Release and relax Last time Sink the weight down, slowly, and release. Take a few deep breaths. Then just shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Recenter into your body. Now we'll just go into the ready position. Now create a little bit of space underneath your arms as if you're holding a small ball under your arms. So don't let your arms collapse, but create a little bit of space. Now sink into your body, scan through your body, notice any areas of tightness, any areas of pain, any areas of discomfort. And as you're breathing, just let that all go. In your mind, just say to yourself, tonight I will sleep deeply and peacefully, then I'll wake up feeling rested, rejuvenated, and full of life and energy. Take a big in-breath, opening exercise, drawing the chi into the body, breathing out, 
Imagine the chi coming all the way through your head, through your face, through your neck, through your shoulders, through your chest, through your stomach, through your waist, through your hips, legs, knees, feet, and into the earth. And you are all done. You're now ready for a nice, peaceful, deep, restful sleep. If you've liked this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or a like on YouTube and Facebook. And if you really liked it, please feel free to share it with anyone you think might benefit from it. If you'd like to, you can also leave a comment to let me know what did you think? How did you feel during this routine? Did you feel buzzing or tingling or heaviness? Did your eyes feel heavy? Did your body feel heavy? Are you asleep right now? Do I need to wake you up? If you've liked this style of Qigong, please come visit us in the community. Here we have many videos of all different types of Qigong styles and different practices for all different conditions, for overall health, for anti-aging, for energy, for stress, anxiety, everything. We have a new program called the 30 Days of Qigong where you can start from a very, from absolute beginner and in over 30 days you'll get 30 different routines that will help build up your energy, get your qi moving in specific parts of the body. I highly encourage you to uh, take part in the 30 days of Qigong because I really think you'd get something out of it. If you're not quite ready to join the community right now, just at least sign up for our newsletter and we'll send you a, a link every time that we have a new video. Sometimes Facebook and YouTube does not deliver videos when we make them uh, and, and post them. So if you uh, sign up for our email list, you'll get them guaranteed. And don't worry, you can unsubscribe at any point. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.